Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes it's nice to be able to enhance shadows or work with them in some way and to be able to select them. And normally you might use luminosity, which uh, Affinity Photo can provide, but sometimes another way of looking at it is useful. And here we got is something slightly different. Say we want to darken this sort of alleyway a bit, but to figure it out, let's start off here. Here we got a pixel, which has got red, green and blue in it. And one of the colours is higher, one's lower, one's in the middle. And it makes this kind of colour. And if I drag out the colour palette here, then we can change this. In particular, we're interested here about the darkness of the overall colour. And if I change the green a bit, that doesn't change much in terms of darkness. The blue doesn't really change much. However, if I change the red, this is changing how dark it is quite a lot. And this is because the maximum colour really does control the darkness. So I can find the maximum, I can calculate it. And then I get this distance here, the 1 minus the maximum, which is a measure of the, the height of this then this is a measure of the darkness. And I can set up an arbitrary point here and say I am only interested in pixels where the maximum colour is below this point. So this one here is too bright. This is high red, so it's a nice brighter colour. I don't consider that to be a shade or shadow. So what I can do then is if I move this down here, for example, now I've got this looks much more like a shadow. They're all lower. But now what I'm going to do is effectively I'm going to take this one here. And I can do something like subtract the this A here. So if I subtract the A there from this, the one minus maximum is bigger. And so I'm going to get a positive number. If I go back to the way it was before, now the one minus maximum, you take away the A with A is bigger than the one minus maximum, which is going to throw the whole thing negative. And you can't have negative in this, so it ends up at zero. And we're going to be working with transparency or the alpha channel, which um, and it automatically says zero. And for that, it means that it is transparent. So we can control the, the transparency. Easier to show it than to actually worry about it. So let's put this back up here. Here we go, let's get this. I'm going to hit a Control J to get a duplicate, turn off the bottom layer so we can see what's going on, and go to Procedural Texture. Now here I'm going to have, add a calculation line here. I don't want red, I want A for alpha, which is transparency. And so in here I'm going to put the one minus maximum of red, green and blue. And I said minus A. Nothing happens at the moment because it doesn't know what A is. So I put way down here a variable. Now I've got an A and it runs from 0 to 1. So when I turn this down here, it starts appearing but from the darkest areas first. And this starts to appear like this. I can also play around with this in terms of how I calculate it with the A. For example, if I could put divided by A, I'm going to get a darker effect with this. So you can play around this, but this is the basic principle that's going on. There is going to be a macro, by the way, and it will appear later on when I've done a couple more things, which I'm going to give a start with two other macros away free. So let's see if we say, let's take it down to about there. And then we want to say this is going to be blended in with the one underneath, so make that one visible. Currently you can't see anything because they're the same colour. I have to select the top layer here, not the procedural texture. And go down to something like multiply, which darkens that. I can bring this back up again now and play around with this to see how it, it works with that. Or I might go back to the subtracting the A, because this is you can play around with the formula in this. And this gives a kind of similar effect, but 
it's not as strong as dividing. Hmm. But that's what it's all about. Anyway, I think I've said enough. And thank you very much for watching.